Hey guys, greetings from the inside of CrossFit Tempest. Remember this place? Uh, it misses you guys too. So anyway, I know it's not fair that I'm here, um, but I'm doing some cleaning. I'm sure you're surprised. So I thought I'd do the workout video um, and get everything, uh, do all the stuff so that way you can see it and you remember what it looks like in here. All right. So for the warm up um, for the death by workout, you're gonna start with a single leg deadlift. Um, so you can just use nothing. So I can plant my foot and I can literally just try to touch my toes down as far as I can, maybe grab my ankle, maybe touch the ground, um, or I can use a weight, okay? So I'm gonna send the other leg back, touch my weight down to the ground, really try and focus on what your foot is doing. Think about gripping the ground with that foot, okay? Um, so 10, I would do at least five on each leg. You can maybe even do 10 on each leg. Um, either one, I'll let you decide, okay? Then you're gonna work on a handstand hold as usual. You can start with a bear curl. We're doing the bear curl, we're sitting the hips as high as we can towards the ceiling. Think about pressing the chest and the head back through the knees, okay? Um, you can work and put your feet on top of a bench or your couch or something like that. Working on a plank, uh, not a plank, a pipe. And you can do the same thing on the wall, put my feet up on the wall, working in a pipe position. I can do a wall lock into that position, or I can do a handstand. Holding for 30 seconds, okay? Do it gently. You probably heard um, my feet hit. That was not very gentle. That is what you should not do, okay? All right, then some lateral squats. Have the feet nice and wide. Try to keep the feet flat on the ground. You're going to send the hips all the way below the knee crease as much as you can. If you need to, you can use your arms. You can bend wherever you need to. Use this as a nice stretch today um, after the lunges from yesterday. Okay. Um, then you're going to spend 30 seconds at the bottom of the pistol position. Okay. So this is just working on that narrow squat. So either you're gonna hang out here in the narrow squat for 30 seconds, or if you can, kick that one foot up. If possible, you're trying to just hang out one foot and you can use the other arm to raise that other leg, okay? Um, if that doesn't feel possible, you can just still put your other foot out in front of you. You can hang on to something. If you've got a chair or a table leg or a door frame um, hanging on, would be a good option for that too, okay? All right, um, then we're gonna do a behind the neck shoulder press. Um, so if you've got a band, if you've got a broomstick, if you've got uh, anything that you want to use, you're gonna put it behind your shoulders so it starts behind the neck, pressing straight up overhead. When we get overhead, we want the shoulders to be down and away from the ears, but we want the weight to be right over our center of gravity. So you're gonna do 10 of those, warming up the shoulders because we do have a shoulder press part of this workout, okay? Spend 30 more seconds in a plank, uh, just like we did yesterday. Planting the hands about a forearm's distance apart, thinking about rolling everything forward and pressing up to the ceiling. Spine, shoulder blades, everything presses up to the ceiling. Think about squeezing that core together. Okay, so we're going to be in a hollow position versus in an arch position in that plank. And then finally, a windmill. Um, you can kind of do whatever you need to with this um, to make it feel good. So you can either have the feet wide, one arm up, you're turning at the torso, and then um, hinging, and you can do that on either arm. You can also just use this as... So mobility, you're just kind of going around, getting the spine warmed up, whatever makes the most sense to you, however you're feeling, okay? All right, so like usual, do that three times.